So let's kick off this video with the most obvious. Number 17, the weather. Portugal has a fantastic climate with more than 200 days of sunshine per year and an average temperature of around 20 degrees. Perched on the western edge of Europe, Lisbon is the continent's sunniest capital city, boasting an average of around 2,800 hours of sunshine per year pipping Athens, which has around 2,770 hours of sun a year. Number 16, it's a very safe country. When you visit Portugal, there is one thing you will notice almost immediately compared to the more popular destinations around Europe. It feels very, very safe. That's because the Portuguese take safety very seriously. In fact, Portugal ranks as the third most peaceful country in the world in the Global Peace Index. Its neighbours, Italy, ranks 38th, France 61st and Spain 30th. Portugal is a country that quite evidently roots itself in common respect for one another. Number 15, it's charming cities. From Porto to Lisbon to Coimbra to Sintra, Portugal is full of cobbled, charming, aesthetically pleasing towns and cities. Whether you're heading for the national parks or wine country up north, you will also have many beautiful cities to visit along the way. Or you can even visit the golden beaches of the Algarve in the south. There is so much to discover in this gorgeous country. Number 14, it has Madeira. Madeira has long time been an attraction for British people especially. This place is justifiably known as the Floating Garden or the Pearl of the Atlantic. Madeira has a variety of rare attractions beside its luxurious blue skies and sea and its imposing valleys and mountains where plant life is abundantly diverse. Number 13, great value for money. The cost of living in Portugal is ranked among one of the lowest in Western Europe. If you're coming from anywhere with a currency weaker than the euro, this can be incredibly helpful to your trip. It means you can do more with less, including dining, excursions, even car rentals cost a fraction of what they would elsewhere. Everything from grocery bills to a monthly rental will run you significantly less. Flights to Portugal are also relatively cheap from most of Europe and even North America. Number 12, fantastic beaches and surf. The beaches in Portugal are second to none. Considering the coastline is nearly 500 miles long, you're bound to find a beautiful spot to park yourself and take in some beautiful sunshine. The country has become so well known for its ideal surf conditions after the world's largest wave was caught by a Hawaiian surfer at 90 feet. There are a number of surf accommodations that have on-site instructors too. Starting at just 15 to 30 euros a night for the bed, it's a great option if you're wanting to learn and still get that awesome community vibe of a hostel. Number 11, the breathtaking countryside. If you drive away from the course and start going deep inside Portugal's tiny villages, you'll notice that the countryside is one of this country's most stunning beauties. If you happen to stop to eat or explore the villages, you'll notice that the people are extremely welcoming and happy to see new faces. Number 10, the nightlife. From the streets of Lisbon and Porto to the pumping seaside resort of the Algarve, Portugal's love for a night on the tiles is no secret. Less known, however, is the country's growing affection for Afro House, which is being imported from Africa like it's going out of fashion. The genre has found fertile ground in Lisbon's clubbing scene, but it's poised to spread across the entire country. Number 9, sunsets every day. Who doesn't love a sunset? Well, they're even better when they're over the Atlantic coast. Thanks to its west-facing beaches, you will see an amazing sunset pretty much every single day of the year. And because Portugal is full of beautiful spots, you'll never get bored of watching the sun set over the ocean. Number 8, great coffee and wine. This association might not be immediate, but Portugal colonised countries like Brazil, Angola and East Timor, producers of some of the world's finest coffee. That's why things start to make sense now. Number 7, it's small but not too small. Portugal as a whole is a rather small country both by land size and population. It is only the 19th largest country on the continent and the 17th most populated at just over 10 million. It's small enough to easily travel across the entire country but not to the point where it's too small and everything can be done in a single day or weekend. Number six, they have Ronaldo. Okay, this one only applies if you're a football or soccer fan. 
and is rather controversial depending on who you think the best footballer in the world is. You're either a Messi fan or a Ronaldo fan, but personally, I've always preferred Ronaldo. If you do follow soccer, let us know below which one you prefer. Of course, Messi is South American, so at least we can say Big Ron is the best European player. Number 5. Fantastic English the Portuguese as a whole speak fantastic English, and Portuguese itself is actually the ninth most spoken language, with over 230 million speakers, thanks to Brazil. Even if you're not an English speaker, a lot of people from around the world may have English as their second language, so having basic conversations should not be a problem in Portugal. Number 4. The Azores Islands Often described as the Hawaii of Portugal, the Azores will make you glad to be in Portugal. For one, the Azores hasn't been overrun with expats, so you will see some form of authentic Portuguese living. With nine different islands to visit, they are all equally stunning in their own way, located in the North Atlantic along 600 kilometers of ocean. These islands not only feature world-class beaches, but also kinds of activities including geotourism, bike tours, kayaking, golf, scuba diving, surfing, paragliding, and even whale watching. It is impossible to run out of things to do on your trip to the Azores. Number three, not as touristy or oversaturated as other European countries. Now, this doesn't go to say that Portugal is completely tourist free. However, in comparison to other countries such as Spain, it is well and truly less saturated. However, over time, we think this will diminish. So try to visit Portugal as soon as you can. Number two, incredible hostels that are more like hotels. Hostel dorms located in the heart of Lisbon range from as low as 10 to 20 euros per night, depending on what you are looking for. And Porto falls into the higher end of that range. Perhaps the best part is that they often include breakfast, they are comfy and have huge clean spaces. It is a true testament to the fantastic hospitality of the people of this country. Number one, great for road trips. Driving in Portugal, as long as you are not from the UK or Australia, will be a piece of cake. The roads are well maintained and very clearly marked. The locals are respectful and everyone seems to be able to share the road at an easy pace. Renting a car doesn't cost very much either, it's the perfect recipe for a great road trip. You can make your way along the coast of Portugal from Lisbon to Faro in about 10 days and see a whole world of landscapes in between. So there we have it, 17 reasons why we think Portugal is the best country in Europe, if not the world. Of course, just like any other country in the world, it's not perfect, it does have some drawbacks. However, the positives of this stunning country easily outweigh the negatives. We can see why it is getting more and more popular. So, thank you so much for watching, have a great week, and we will see you very soon. Of course, remember to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you love learning about countries from around the world, consider subscribing. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.